For Gianna, take a look at the scene behind me. Still very active here. Investigators still gathering evidence in this case here in Parkland. As you said, though, in Fort Lauderdale, teachers, students, everyone asking for more gun control and change. If all our government and president can do is send thoughts and prayers, then it's time for victims to be the change that we need to see. Hundreds gathered around the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale Saturday afternoon, all united in their cry for gun control. The fact that all of you are out here today is showing that this is a turning point in American history, and we are not going to let this happen. The rally took place some 25 miles from where 14 students and three faculty members of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School were shot and killed on Valentine's Day. The accused gunman, a 19-year-old former student, Nicholas Cruz, investigators say armed with an AR-15. Every single person up here today, all these people should be at home grieving. But instead, we are up here standing together. Teachers, parents and students all attended Saturday's rally, all calling for more restrictions on sales of assault weapons and pleading for lawmakers to change the nation's gun laws. Since the time of the founding fathers and since they added the Second Amendment to the Constitution, our guns have developed at a rate that leaves me dizzy. The guns have changed and the laws have not. This fight is not going to be easy. This fight is not going to be short. We're going to have to continue for days, months, years and decades. And again, Gianna, as you said, a very emotional and very large crowd in Fort Lauderdale today. Also, that crowd urging, calling for President Trump to act and to act now. Reporting live in Parkland, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.